Hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. So let's just go ahead and tap in with spirit. Get this tea for y'all real quick. Because fam, it's, it's important for you to be mindful of your energy today. Because there is a projection feeling going on bad. There seems to be someone who's missing you. And it's kind of turning into irritation for, uh, for this person. And it's like, um, I don't know how, but you're able to feel this person's energy right now. I don't know why y'all are still so energetically connected, but that is definitely what's going on here. You know that energy, I ain't sure what's saying. But anywho, y'all already know, the uh, messages here are always general. Take what resonates, fam, and leave the rest. Also, they timeless. So whenever you come across this message, fam, that's what spirit has it for you. Yeah, I'm hearing the name Tyreek. So if you're feeling, I don't know, you know, take what resonates. Like I said, I just heard the name Tyreek. Yeah, but if you're feeling like some type of irritation or you're just feeling down all of a sudden or something like that, know that there's somebody trying to project their energy onto you, Empress. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hope everyone is enjoying their day wherever you are in this crazy ass world. To all my subscribers, thank y'all so much for rocking and rolling with me. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not subscribed, fam, you just come and you watch the messages. Thank you so much as well. You know what I'm talking about? Spend a little time with us. I'm greatly appreciated. But let's go ahead and get into this. Some of y'all could be a fire sign, air sign. Or, you know, you're dealing with one. Just take the energy I resonate. Any sign that I mention also, fam, is sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. I'm also hearing north node. Yeah. It's like somebody wants you to put your defenses down. I don't know. <laughs> What's, they getting irritated. Yeah, this the Look at this. The seducer and the game player. See, this is what it is. It really feels like now that you're done, somebody feels like you're playing with their emotions. Yeah, I, I don't know. I do not know. But somebody damn sure feel like you're playing with their emotions, man. But let's get into this. Oh, this spirit. What's the child and the seducer come flying out. The king, I mean the Prince of Cups. I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Yeah, the seducer. <laughs> I I also feel like somebody thought, I don't know if you um stop sleeping with this person. That's what it seems like. You're controlling your sexual urges when it comes to this person. Somebody thought you'd have been done came back by now for some of that thing thing or that cuckoo. And your ass ain't came back. So it's like they missing you. And they getting irritated as hell at you because you ain't doing what they want you to do. Yeah, then we got the Ten of Cups. And then we got the Two of Wands right here. Yeah, it really looked like, seriously, this is somebody y'all possibly have a family with. Or, you know, the connection was good. And then all of a sudden, somebody right here, they wanted to go out for Hot Girl or Hot Boy Summer or some shit. And they thought you was still going to be waiting on them when they got back. And this ain't what's happening. Yeah, somebody here, I don't know what this is about dominating the relationship with sex. But somebody, I guess somebody thought you was going to be super hooked on them. Couldn't wait for them to return and things like that. That's not happening. Somebody keeps checking their phone as well, fam, to see if you're texting or if you're calling. And it's it's silent. Yeah. We got the Prince of Discord. The Day Trader. We got the Moon Card. And we have... The uh, Knight of this, Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, a lot of things with you and this person have slowed down. And I feel like you standing on it. I feel like this is not something that's going to last one or two days, one or two weeks. I honestly feel like y'all are done. Yeah, a tower, somebody's not expecting that. They were not expecting this. They expected for them to get done doing what they was doing and be like, hey, you know, I'm ready to uh, come on back to the house. And for you to be like, okay, she sweep everything under the rug, be have dinner cooking when they walk through the door and things like this. Or somebody expected to be able to cook you dinner and you was going to come right on back in. Damn, somebody must be able to cook. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look, we got luxury, but it's the four of cups here. It feels like some of y'all living y'all best life, and now this person, not so much. But it's like while they were living it up and they had your ass at home, you sitting up texting them, trying to figure out, you know, why you ain't getting no response. Woo, woo, woo. They looking at their phone laughing and giggling and shit because you chasing them. 
Somebody got a kick out of your ass chasing them. And that ain't some motherfucking fun that the rabbit got the goddamn gun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See this is see people be biting the hand and fucking feed them. I see somebody here that was waiting on somebody hand to foot, cooking meals, cleaning up, doing the laundry, all kinds of shit. Honestly, somebody here had it made. So I'm not understanding why it was so important to go out there to them streets. Cause baby, obviously it ain't nothing out there because your ass is wanting to return. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, look, the four of wands says somebody want to come on back to the house. Who got a house phone? Because somebody got somebody still got a landline phone. But child, let me find out you ain't got it hooked up. Somebody got a landline phone and it feel like your phone, some phone is finna start ringing off the hook. Somebody got a landline phone, could be cell phone, but I see a landline. Also, I'm seeing somebody got a landline phone. That bad boy ain't even hooked up. Did you get it just because you got the cable or the satellite or something? <laughs> Yeah, also, it feels like an unexpected visitor here. You could be just sitting in your kitchen cooking or, you know, writing. Somebody writes. It's like a writer or, you know, you compose music or something. It's like you're going to hear a knock at the door or something like this. Yeah. I'm, oh, shit. When opportunity knocks, there you go. So it's going to be a, a big opportunity for some of y'all come through here. Yeah, that just came in the middle of the read. But let's get let's get back into this. Lately, it always feel like it's something in my mouth and I can't figure out why. What is it that I'm not saying here? Because that's what it feels like. I'm not saying something and it want to come out my mouth. It's on the tip of my tongue. But what is it? Oh, it's that. What's this? Yeah, we get the Eight of Pentacles, y'all. Somebody might be... Do somebody work like home health care? It's like a home work setting here. So do you work from home? You work like home health care? You work in a group home? Something like that. Somebody wants to show up at your job. They keep watching to see uh, if you're there or if your car is parked in the parking lot or something like this. Yeah, because somebody worked their ass off. Somebody need to take some time off because somebody don't work seven days straight going on eight. Yeah, somebody out here going to get that money. Yeah, somebody all in their feelings, fam. I'm talking about damn. But let's get into this. Let's see what's going on with this crazy person. Yeah, it could be a Virgo, Aquarius. I'm, this person want to come back. Yeah. But it's weird as fuck because it's like this person right here, they feel disrespectful. It's like, how many times you got to catch this person talking to somebody else? How many times you got to catch this person in somebody else's face? But they think you're supposed to take them back, fam? This person actually, see, this is crazy. Y'all be creating these goddamn monsters. Yeah, y'all done created a big-ass baby monster who felt like they could go do whatever they wanted to do and then return to your ass and everything was going to be peachy keen. Yeah, it could be a Libra here as well. Libra, Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. Shit, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. But let's get into this. People be straight wilding. Like, seriously. Yeah, Strength Card, Leo Energy. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. It really feel like somebody expected to... Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Excuse me. They expected to come back towards you and you still be in this... Um, I'm hearing unnatural state. So somebody here, they really thought that leaving was going to take you out of your element and then returning was going to like make you happy or some shit like that. I'm hearing gaiety or something like that. I don't know what the heck that is. I just really feel like in the time that you were separated from this person, it's like you honestly took a look at yourself and realized that part of you was the problem in this whole situation. Y'all gave a lot of y'all power over to this person and that's why they acted like this. Somebody really thought after turning your whole world apart that they could come back in and give you this small ass offer, this apology, and everything was going to be fine. No. 
So it's really irritating. This person, it feels like some of y'all are very intuitive as well. You're empathic. So you know that this apology that this person giving you, it's on some finesse type shit. That's another thing that's irritating this person. It's like you know the game ain't finna play before they even like get that bitch ass out on the court and stuff. Yeah, because some of y'all damn near psychic. I just don't understand how people be letting other people come into y'all relationship. And then, you know, they go off and do their thing. And then they expect your ass to still be like, okay, well, you know, this was just a part of our journey. Somebody got life and bullshit, all kinds of fucked up. No. That's disrespect. Damn, a part of a journey. Because I do see somebody right here allow some younger person to come in towards y'all relationship. Yeah. And now this person is stuck in their head. Because now whomever this person, I'm telling y'all, somebody went out, it feel like for the summer. Yeah, but once fall hit, somebody that they was dealing with was like, nah, I'm good on the situation and left their ass all by themselves. And so now they want to come back towards you. And your ass is like, nah, I'm good. If you saying anything at all here, that's why it's so many. Yeah, the three of wands here. It's like you went out there, you you wanted the streets, stay out there in the streets. And somebody here is like, what the fuck? Because I feel like somebody is so used to you opening your arms and letting them back in that like somebody feel like they don't even have to tell you what the hell it all it is that they did while they were gone. It's like somebody here, they feel like they can come back in and don't they don't owe you any type of explanation or anything here, fam. Somebody's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's stuck in their head because they keep looking for a phone call, looking for a text, looking for you to show up or something like that. Your ass is not there. I'm hearing scarcity. So I'm, it really feel like while somebody was with you, they had it made and now they're out there seriously struggling. And that's why they so pissed. They're irritated. They're sad. But again, as usual, whomever this person is, they did it to themselves. I saw 1212. That number has been stalking me. 12, 12. I even see the number 12 out here in the car. It's 4, 4 as well. Hmm. And 87. I got 87, 48, 84, 24, 28. 47, 27, 72. But let's get into this, fam. Holy Spirit. Hmm. I'm I keep hearing that future song shouts. I will. It says I will wait for you. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody thought that they could ignore all your advances, all your text messages, all your, you know, whatever the fuck, keep you stuck in this nine of ones energy, and you were still gonna leave the door open for them. You cannot make this up, Gemini energy with the lovers. Yeah, for some reason, somebody feel like they your source of happiness, fam. And that shit need to be checked, like, real quick. Yeah, look, five of swords. I'm telling you, now somebody is trying to blame you. Like, you're playing with their emotions. You're playing with their heart. You're playing with their feelings. And shit like that. Nah, bro, I don't feel like fam playing. I feel like fam is actually done. Yeah, Taurus energy coming through there. I really do. I feel like fam is done, done. Libra. What is this about? It's some peppers. I don't know what it's like. I don't know. Somebody cooking breakfast and it has like eggs and some type of peppers. I smell it. How is that? What's the Ten of Cups? The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, bro. You could definitely have a family with this person. But what? This is giving like family vibes. Hmm. Oh, okay, y'all, turn it down. So if this is somebody in your family, this is somebody that you're like really close to, twin brother, twin sister, I don't know, cousin, whatever. Don't have to be a twin. It's just a sibling, but I'm seeing two people around the same age and they look alike. Somebody right here, they went and got into a relationship or whatever, and it's like they left you out. You know, they was really happy with their relationship. Woo, woo, woo. This my person. I want to spend all my time with this person. This person gone now. So now this person want to come back towards you and rebuild a bond after leaving you out 
You see what I'm talking about? Putting somebody else before you or whatever the fuck this is. Even if this is somebody and then, you know, they had like a whole lot of friends, those friends are gone. And so now, yeah, they want to come back towards you, Ace of Swords. And it's like, now you don't have time for somebody. You see somebody for exactly who they are. It's irritating the fuck out of this person because somebody feel like they could, they should always be able to count on you. They can count, they, 15, 15. They want to be able to count on you, but you don't have to be able to count on them. What the kind, what kind of bullshit is this? Somebody right here is selfish. This is selfishness. They're immature. They're selfish. And it's just like they want things their way. And when things don't go their way, it's like pitching a goddamn bitch fit. That's what this is. It's like pitching a bitch fit. Yeah, King of Swords here. And then the Page of Pentacles. What's behind it? And the Eight of Cups. I'm telling you, now somebody here, if this is a family member or something, they need a, a listening ear. They need somebody to talk to, to vent to, things like that. After, you know, not having time to talk to you because they on the phone with their boo thing. Or, you know, they new little friends want to go do this and want to go do that. Yeah, they didn't have time for you then. But now they got time for you now that ain't nobody else around. Fuck this person. Yeah, this is the type of person that only come around you when it's beneficial for them. And look, this card just flew out on my arm just like this. The page of, I mean, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Didn't I tell you? This person is very arrogant. They have an ego on their ass. Yo. This for I'm whoever. If this is a relationship, this person right here just knew that they was gonna be able to go out there and do what they want to do and come back to you, fam. Yo. Somebody right. Why do we feel like somebody tried to embarrass y'all in front of a whole lot of people? Hmm. Or right, this person just an embarrassment to you. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I actually dealt with this person on that level. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, it just really feel like y'all created this monster because y'all allowed this person to act this way. But at the same, you created a monster and yet now you crushing the same monster under your fucking feet. Holy Spirit, two of wands. Yeah. Cutting that ass off. It's like I'm going over here and you can't come with me type energy. Yeah. We got the king and the queen of swords out here. I just really feel like there was somebody here that's really that was really soft spoken with this person. Like I don't know what this is about biting your tongue. Yeah, Pisces energy. Bite your tongue. It's like really soft spoken things like that. Now it's like boisterous energy. Like you ain't fist to hold your tongue. Whoever wants it can get it. You speaking your truth, and you. I really don't think you care about hurting nobody feelings. But it's just the point now. Somebody thought that you would always be there. And you're not there. Yeah, King of Cups. It's, I'm telling you, now that you're standing up. Yeah, Virgo energy. Virgo Aquarius. Now that you're standing up for yourself. It's somebody out here all in their feelings. But it's like, you know what? You standing up for yourself and doing all this and doing all that. It's really making this person like more emotionally attracted to you. But the, it's confusing them because they feel stuck. What? It just really feel like this person, little finesse and shit, uh, love bombing type energy. It's not working. So now they stuck like, what, what, what the fuck? Um, why isn't this working this time? This usually always works. What's going on? You're not the same person that they left. Yeah, somebody right here done got all, uh, all the way in touch with themselves. Yeah, King of Pentacles. God damn, you got a lot of options, whomever you are. Somebody here also, this past person, oh man, do they not realize that you're in a whole other connection here? Whole other connection. And I feel like this is a solid ass connection right here. Emotionally, financially, mentally secure in whatever this is. 
Even if this is not a relationship, fam, I just really feel like you come back into union with yourself and, and it's up and it's stuck. And this person, it ain't no place in this in your life for this person ever again. But I want you to know that this person, this is not your energy that you're feeling. This irritated energy. Yeah, Gemini. It's like you, I ain't gonna lie though, fam. It feel like emotionally you were someone's security blanket. And now this motherfucker is left out in the cold. Like up shit's creek without a paddle. Like seriously. Somebody here of a spirit is saying this person is emotionally dependent on you, codependent. Yeah, Taurus energy. They're emotionally codependent here. I feel like somebody was kind of sheltered as a child as well. I don't know where that's coming from. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. And then we got the Four of Cups. Somebody got a lot of work to do before they can even come back towards you. This person needs to uh, sort out their emotions. Like, what do they really want? Because honestly, it feel like if this person gets you back, I still don't see them settling down. Yeah, it's still temporary. Five of Pentacles. I really don't see this person. Exactly. I don't. It's like at this time, this person needs you, so they're going to come back in. But fam, I really don't feel like this person going to stay. Yeah, ten of cups right here. Three of cups. So let's say this is a friend. This friend going to snake your ass out again. Yeah, seven of cups right here. If this is somebody you had a relationship with, you can't make it up. Ten of swords. It really don't matter who this person is, fam. The point is, they only want to come back in because now they need you. It's like they're left all alone. You were somebody emotionally secure, uh, emotional security blanket. Could even be like financially helping somebody out or whatever the fuck this is. They don't have that help from you anymore. And it's nobody else out here in this world willing to extend their hand to this person the way that you did. But this is the type of person right here, you really can't. I, I would cut ties. Yeah, high priestess here. Because there's somebody coming back towards you that's still unhealed. This person has a lot of work to do. <clears throat> My throat. Yeah, again, Taurus energy right here. The fool court, here they come. I'm telling you. Somebody, whomever this person is that you were in a relationship with, it really don't even matter at this point. Let's just put it like this. Somebody here thought that they had found somebody better than you, whether this was a different friend group or a romantic interest. Somebody thought that they could find better than you or they had found better than you or something like that, so they took their ass out there. Now that everything out there done disappeared, the people are gone, the money is gone, the attention is gone, they want to come back to it too. I heard it energetically feed off of you. But the, the, I wouldn't let this person back in, seriously. Because it's honestly like this person is coming back towards you because they have nowhere else to go. Irritated as fuck because I feel like you're ignoring them. Or you will be. Yeah, Ace of Cups here. Somebody went towards somebody and gave this person they all. Do y'all understand me? Only for this person right here to leave them not reciprocate the love all kind of shit somebody right here they're coming back towards you because they cannot find you in anybody else you make this person uh, feel a, a specific way and it's I, I i can't understand this i can't understand this yeah empress well, how the fuck they gonna juggle the empress like I, I don't get it yeah i'm telling you this person is getting really really irritated at you I'm talking about that's their energy you're feeling, not yours. Yeah, hermit. Deep down, it's like a a a, a storm is brewing inside of y'all. It's not your energy. Twenty four fourteen. It's whomever this, this uh person is. I heard they lazy too. Yeah, magician. Somebody's trying to call y'all ass back in. Look at this. Someone is definitely trying to call you back in. You might even start having dreams about this person, fam. Or you have been, things like that. It, it, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Somebody's definitely dreaming about you. It's like somebody can't really sleep. Because they every time they go to sleep, they see your face. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Somebody know that you were the best friend that they were ever, ever going to have. The best uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, friend, friend, whatever the fuck. Yeah. I really feel like it's... Honestly, I don't feel like letting this person go is an easy decision for y'all. I really don't. I feel like this is somebody that y'all never thought that y'all would have to be without. But hey, it is what it was. They made their bed. Now let them lie in it. Yeah, but honestly, we're not going to dime down y'all feelings. I really do feel like this is somebody that y'all cared about. And it's hard to let this person go. But it's like, damn, they, it's feeling like they the op at this point, right? Mm, mm, mm. Holy Spirit. Can I get one more card from this deck, please? Yeah, I feel like some of y'all are also in contemplative mode of whether you should let this person come back in or keep it pushing. You can't make it up. Cancer energy. Yeah, so this could have been like a, a husband, a wife, baby mama, baby daddy, whatever the fuck. I just really feel like somebody here, yeah, now they choosing you. They want another opportunity with you. But at the same time, fam, yeah, I don't see this person changing at all. Devil, death, five of pentacles, judgment, nine of swords. I don't. Yeah, high priestess, deep down, you already know. You should continue to choose yourself and leave this person out. Because I'm, I'm telling you, it's like contemplating, but I, I can't tell y'all what to do. Should y'all do what's best for y'all? But I'm just giving y'all the information the Spirit is giving me to give to y'all. Let's get y'all some zodiacs. Holy Spirit. What's zodiacs attached to this, uh, this reading? We got Gemini, and we do have Gemini out here with the lovers. We got air sign. So somebody could be a Gemini moon. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, period. But a uh, strong Gemini. Mm, they just out. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can check out everything. Start falling over. We got water sign here. Let me put this back up here because shit just started falling for real. We got earth sign. We got water sign. And we got air sign. And we got Pisces. Let me get one more. Yeah, we got fire sign. So pretty much it's everybody. We have all elements out here. Fire, air, water, and earth. We have Pisces and Gemini. Strong out here with the Zodiacs. But yeah, fam, that's um that's been your message. If it resonates, hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open if you're interested. All the information will be in the description box of the channel. I will also leave my email in the description box of this message, fam. It's always my pleasure, of course. Thank y'all so much for allowing me to read for y'all. Damn. Why do I keep feeling like something on tip of my tongue? But anyway, thank y'all for allowing me to read for y'all, fam. Sending you guys love and healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy-ass world. And we'll most definitely get back up.